Sunderland's Laurie McMenemy and Middlesbrough coach Danny Bergara spell out the task their teams face against promotion hopefuls. Team hoping to play first division football next season, Alan Ball's Portsmouth are at Ayrson Park. Borough may recall striker Archie Stevens in a bid to halt a run of four home games without a win. It's a sequence in sharp contrast to Borough's recent life-saving performances away from home. And the reason is difficult to put a finger on. There's certainly no lack of effort on the training ground. Running a bit to the line sometime. Away, 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 away. That's why you shout. Come on. Danny Bergara's extraordinary cajolings have become a familiar sound at Borough training sessions. Bruce Rea brought in the South American-born coach as his right-hand man. Immediately he took over at Essen Park. The two were first together at Luton in the late 60s. Danny's Spanish Cockney accent has taken a little getting used to on Teesside. But Borough's recent form has left their coach a bit bemused too. We've done very, very well indeed away from home. Or at least the results suggest that. At home, the results suggest that we are awful. And I think the most people that have come to Middlesbrough football ground and seen the last four matches that we played against Leeds, Sheffield United especially, Hull City um, and Carlisle, I didn't think that we deserved to lose. But as I said before, you don't always get what you deserve in football. The harsh fact is that Borough must win their remaining home games to have a real survival chance. Tomorrow's task, at least, looks slightly less daunting thanks to Portsmouth's recent attack of promotion jitters. Uh, you never get anything easy in this life, and we're going to approach the game in the same, same way as we approach the others. Um, and we're just hoping that our good know-how, uh, and that's what we're playing at home, um, I hope that uh, all that supremacy that we've shown in previous games is going to be counted. Um, just by putting the ball in the back of the net. At the end of the day, that's what football really is all about, to put the ball in the back of the net. One more time than the opposition.